Hey guys, it's Skybird. Hopefully you don't hear the laundry going on in the background, but it just never stops. <laughs> anyway, just want to go ahead and talk about a couple of Rahi that I did here. So, I'm going to take the yellow one back out of the way from it, but I wanted to show it off. <laughs> so, um, this is what I call the Congo Timber Crab, or Congo Crab. Just took the name from Congo, not the country, but I guess you could call it named after the country, too. Anyway, it's a simple mock. I actually designed it um, as an alternative, or as a combination model, rather, with Onua Nuva and Levok Cal in this case, but any of the Borak Cal would have worked. Um, and so you can kind of see how it's built already, the little Borak lift arm headpiece <laughs> inside there, as well as the foot, you know, from Onua in that case. But, uh, yeah, it's a super simple build. There's not that many pieces involved. Um, but I think it actually comes out being pretty clever. So the Borak windscreen is actually locked in place because of the eyes. In this case, using Borak legs as eyes. Uh, there's not a whole lot of posability to it for the sake of how everything kind of goes together. These legs collide with the eyes, so you can move them outward further, but they can't really go in any further than that the back legs don't suffer quite as bad they can move farther forward farther back you know obviously twist out to the side and everything you know, there are ball joints they can pretty much do whatever um and then the claw design which is relatively simple and i'm surprised i hadn't thought about it before but i'm glad to use it here is yeah just you know kind of neat looking no actual pinching function or anything but still really cute nonetheless um yeah so that is the regular design i guess you'd say um uh, and i actually built two of them because i like being able to build rahi in multiple colors we got that in 2001 might as well continue the trend uh the special thing with this one though is that i actually built it even though the mata foot exists in keat yellow keat orange yeah um i built it with this piece on the back and that assembly there is actually a saddle because you can fit a matoran on there let me lock them in place too just push their legs together to lock them and yeah he can ride on it which is super cool it's just a silly little thing you know he doesn't need to but uh yeah it's just a saddle and i do plan on using that build more in the future so that i can accommodate tohunga on other things but yeah besides that there's not really much to them they don't have any functions there's no uh you know like mechanism to make them pinch or move their arms or anything but there wasn't supposed to be they're just cute they're filler they're something to liven up the island and give it a bit more um you know just right <laughs> i guess so that's what i do so anyway that's pretty much it for these guys i will get a little bit more rahi in the future here but I don't want to just cram a bunch into one episode. Um, but yeah, I plan on doing this more often if I can. Um, I've got a little bit more time set aside now, so I should try to dedicate that time to YouTube. That's kind of the idea I've got going on here. If you guys are looking for instructions, I will be making instructions for these, as well as pretty much all of my Rahi as fast as I can, uh, where they could be found on Gumroad, which I should mention, some of those will be free. So... Um, I do have one that's free on there already, and my Hoto Beetle, which has become very popular, and um, yeah, has really nicely done PDF and everything. That also has free instructions, which will be posted on Gumroad like super soon. So come check it out. I'm serious. It's gonna be really cool, and I can't wait to see you guys there. Um, of course, if you guys do feel like buying, it's greatly appreciated. I want to up the production value of this. I'm sitting at a desk by a wall with just a little phone stand, <laughs> so doing my best, guys. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you there. And if you guys are curious about any other Rahi, if you found me just through happenstance on YouTube, I'll also link my Discord in the description with my Gumroad. And Discord is where you find all of my Rahi. There are 125 Rahi so far, so prepare to be just, like, burnt out on Rahi for a while. <laughs> All jokes aside, of course, I'd love to see you guys there. I love interacting with the community. Everybody's super awesome. Check check it out there. Check me out on uh, BZ Power. I don't know if that's actually what their Discord is called, but and some of the other places. And, uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. So link in the description for all those things. Go check them out. See ya. Take care.